Hello! So, welcome back to our last discussion on animal production. So, for today, we will be talking about the lesson form, performing estimation, and basic calculation. So, for today's objectives, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to perform estimations or calculations to be done accordingly to the job requirements. Okay? So, before we start, let's take this test. So, find your match. Try to answer the pre-test to enable you to find out what you have already know and what still you need to know. So the direction is select the letter of the correct answer. Okay? So number one, the correct formula in finding the work salary of a person for the days he do the task. Is it the work salary is equal to salary plus, plus the total number of days? Or work salary is equal to salary times the total number of days. It is the first one. Okay, so work salary is equal to the salary plus the total number of days. Okay, next one. This refers to the number of days the work will be completed by one person and one animal. Is it man, animal day or man and day? Okay, very good. It is one animal day. And last one, the standard unit, unit used in animal production. Is it feed conversion unit or the livestock unit? It is the livestock unit. So remember when we say animal production, it refers to the livestock. Okay, so animal production as perspective is to develop understanding on the basic management and essential concepts of producing animal products. So, knowledge on estimation and basic calculation is needed to ensure success in animal business. So, just like in our crop production, it is also important not just to determine the tools and equipment but also have a knowledge in estimation and the basic calculation. Okay? It improves meth methods for estimating livestock production and productivity is one of the key priorities of animal production. Okay? It is an essential skill if you plan to establish a business regarding animal production. Okay? So it is difficult to compare different animals and animals of different ages with each other terms of feeding and grazing. So to make comparison possible, we can convert different animals to the same common unit. This is called the livestock unit that is abbreviated to LU. Okay? So one LU or one livestock unit is equal to the feed requirement of a standard animal of a certain live weight. So this is an example of a conversion table of a livestock unit. So as, as, as I said a while ago, one of the unique features of the industry could be in eggs, meat, milk, breeding, or all of this to address shortage in food supply or farming income. Okay, so this it is important to know or have a knowledge in the conversion of the livestock units because one LU denotes the feed requirement of standard animal of a certain life. Okay. So, with the introduction of the livestock unit, we can compare the feeds needs of sheep, goat, calves, and other animals with those of dairy cows. So, ex to express different animals and their ages in LUs, so we have this kind of animal or livestock units conversion table. Okay po. So, what are examples on the use of the livestock units? So, a farmer can say, I have a herd of 6 LUs, or when you have feed in stock, you can say I have enough feed for 4 LUs and for 4 months. Okay, so LUs help us calculate and to plan the quantity of feed needed for a herd during a certain period. It also helps us determine how many animals of a certain type we can put on a certain field or farm plot. Okay? So, ano ba ang feed conversion natin? So, feed conversion, domestic animals eat feed like grasses, shrubs, hay, or silage, and concentrates. So, which enables them to grow and to give milk or eggs. 
So the feed animals can produce milk, eggs, and meat. So domestic animals generally produce more economically than other types of animals. Some types of animals need a lot, a lot of feed to produce only a little meat. To express how many kilograms of a certain feed a domestic animal needs to give 1 kilogram of meat or another product, eggs for instance, so here is the use here is to use feed conversion rate or the FCR. Okay, so animal productivity. In animal productivity, different kinds are kept for different purposes because they are produce different products. So the productivity of a type of animal is expressed in terms of what it produces. So example in growth. All animals growth express is expressed in kilogram per day. So what matters is the number of kilogram they grow per unit of time related to body weight and feed quality. So example number one, a beef cow gains 485 kilograms in 100 weeks. So it grows at an average rate of 485 divided by 100 is equal to 4.85 kg per week or 0 0.69 kg per day. Okay, so this is an example of in uh, growth. Okay, so how many, uh, average, how, how much is the average weight it grows or an abif grows per week or per day? So according to our example, it grows for 0.85 kg per week or divided by how many days it is 0.69 kilogram per day okay example number two young chickens of two weeks weigh 200 grams each when they are eight weeks old they weigh two kilograms so what is their productivity in the period between two and eight weeks they produce two kilograms minus two grams is equals to 2,000 minus 200 is equals to 1,800 grams each. So we cannot convert kilogram into gram because they are different uh, kind of unit. So ang gagawin natin, ikaw convert natin si kilogram sa gram by uh, multiplying it into 1,000. Bakit 1,000? When we say kilo, it refers to 1,000. Okay? yun ang purpose ng conversion because we cannot compare or we cannot convert two different units. Okay? Kailangan same sila. So, yung 2 kilogram natin, yung multiply natin into 1,000, it will be, it will become 2,000. 2,000 grams. So, pwede na ba natin siya i-subtract sa 200 grams? Pwede na. So, 2,000 grams minus 200 grams, it equals is equals to 1,800 grams each. So the time needed was 8 minus 2 weeks is equals to 2 weeks. Okay? So the productivity is 1,800 grams per 6 weeks. Wherein it is also 300 grams per week or 300 grams per 7 days. It equals to 400, uh, 43 grams per day. So this is just an example of a conversion okay how about in hens so hens produce eggs a good way to express the productivity of hens is the number of eggs produced per week and during the whole laying period okay pa. so next one is the estimating farm inputs and labor requirements when I say farm inputs again it refers to the things used in farms like feeds uh, uh, seeds Okay, the foods of the animals and the labor requirements. Okay? Estimated expenses from young to matured state of animal daily required money for the agreed or standard payment within the locality per month or it, if the first young will be given to the owner in case of multiple youngs divide, multiple youngs divided equally so as, as to forms. So, check expenses, ganito kasi di ba ang nangyari? Especially sa ating bayan. Diba? Kapag meron kang herd of animals, 
So, mangyayari doon, kapag nanganak yung isang animal, yung unang anak, pwede mong ibigay doon sa owner. Okay? Sa owner ng farm. As ay bayad doon sa paggamit mo ng kanyang lupa. Okay? So, pwede din naman na hindi mo siya bigyan. So, depende yan sa agreement ninyo ng owner at saka ikaw or, ng, or ikaw at yung locality kung saan ka nakatira o saan ka nagtatrabaho. Okay? So, it depends on the uh, locality or your agreement. So, worker salary is the payment given to a person who takes charge of the animal as per agreement or prevailing price within the locality for livestock would be 150 per month. So, when the owner decides to sell the animal, the profit gain will be divided equally between the two. Okay? For example, the price of a cow is 35,000 pesos, then sold 50,000 pesos. So, therefore, the profit is 15,000. O yung kita daw natin ay 15,000. So, it is divided equally, kaya meron tayong 7,500 na share for the owner and the worker. Okay po. So, equal sila ng kita. Okay? So, worker salary on daily basis is computed as worker salary is equals to salary divided by day times the total number of days. Okay? So, ito ang pwede natin gamitin kapag uh, magbabayad tayo doon sa ating mga trabahador. Okay? So, MAD or Demand Animal Day refers to the number of days the work will be completed by one person and one animal. So, Monday refers to the number of days the work will be completed by a or by one person. Okay? So, before we end our lesson, let's have our quiz. Okay, so, for our quiz for today, so, you will just write your own reflection. So, write on your journal your personal insights about the lesson on estimation and basic calculations relative to animal production using the prompts below. So, I understand that blank and I realize that blank. Okay? So, you may write it on a piece of paper or just type it on the comment box. Okay? So, before we end our lesson, so, I have a quotation for you. So, take time to be thankful for everything you have. You can always have more, but you could also have less. Okay? So, ponder these words and thank you for, uh, for joining me on our discussion for today. So, thank you. See you on our next video. Bye-bye!